Okay guys, so how we doing tonight? It's a Sunday evening. Just got out off the water, went to the lake today. It's been an all-around good day. And as you can see, I've let my beard grow back a little bit, and uh, it's been exactly two weeks since I had last shaved it, other than this part down here. Now I want to go over tonight how to try to maintain good clean lines on your beard so that when you go to let your beard grow in more, you have the definition that makes your beard have a nice clean appearance. I'm not going to talk about how to trim it into that, but what I'm going to talk about is how to just on an every three, four day basis, just go in underneath with the razor and just kind of help clean that up. Now, as you can see, I've got a good clean line from my head as it's connected to my jaw. And that will get much thicker as time goes on. But as you can tell, I've got a nice, good, clean line. And the same with the neck here. You want to really make sure that you don't have a bunch of excess nuisance hair just coming out and taking up a bunch of space to where it looks like you're just lazy and don't shave. If you want to have a good, presentable, thick beard look that is, you know, like I said, it's presentable, you could go into an interview having a beard. They don't think that you're trying to maintain a trashy appearance. They don't think that you just don't care. Uh, you know, you have a couple little steps forward under your belt that make you have a good, clean appearance. And to me, those are worth it. What I'm going to do real quick is I'm just going to show you how to gently shave around those areas because... Believe it or not, it can be tricky to do. So I'm going to take a second and get some shaving cream, dab it on, and we're just going to show you how to do that real easily without, you know, any kind of a fuss, because it's not hard to do. Okay, so you can see that I took the time to put the, the lather in, and I did it off camera. It's just Barbasol, and I just put a very thin layer of foam on, which I would recommend when you're just doing a very quick and fine shave like so. I would not recommend using shave gel because it's very thick and it might be easy to get it into areas that you're not looking to shave, cover up the whiskers while they're not very long and you can't really see them under the shaving cream because they haven't grown out a whole lot yet. And you might end up nicking something and have to just start all over. And that's not what we're looking to do. Now just make light gentle strokes. The other thing And this is all personal preference, not even a suggestion. But in these instances, I'll just do one little pass on every area. Just go with the grain. Because the reason for that is, and as you know, when I've taken the time to do a complete shave in the past, I'll do the whole three pass thing, finishing by going against the direction the hairs grow. I'm not going to do that in this instance. And the reason why is, is because I'm just looking to shave it down to where there's nothing and I maintain good clean lines. I'm not looking to get every last hair and have the cleanest feel possible. I don't really care about that right now. I'm trying to grow a beard. I'm not worried about a little bit of residual rough stubble from not shaving the closest. I'm not trying to get real close. I'm just trying to keep a good clean look. That's all that's really important at this point right now. So, and as you can see, we managed to keep our line. 
behind the line it looks nice and clean it looks shaved and maintained all our lines are I don't know I don't want to give myself so much credit I say perfection but it looks pretty good and that's all you're really going for okay that's all I'm really trying to get going there if you have some other tips on how to really start and get a beard detailed, please leave them in the comments and suggestions. Because there's a lot of stuff that I haven't tried. I've been growing beards and I'll grow them down to here during the winter time. I took a winter off from doing that last winter. But if you really got some helpful tips, I'd be grateful to know. So please leave them in the comments down below. And if there's anything else you'd like me to do a video on to help you a little more, Please let me know that as well. Thanks for watching.